All right, so for you guys that are getting on here and just learning some um, digital dentistry, um, this is one of the softwares that I use, which is called Mesh, Mix Mesh Mixer. Um, I have created this video just to show you guys how to um, design models digitally. And of course, my name is Vernice Griffin. Um, I am a recognized graduate of an accredited dental laboratory technology program. I hold a bachelor's of arts in dental, uh, uh, bachelor's of arts in psychology, as well as an associate's in applied science in dental laboratory technology. And I'm a certified dental technician, as well as an instructor at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry and our own Griffin Dental Laboratories. There's a little bit of a mouthful, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, when we're doing digital design, um, we do it from the models um, that are, get, we, we make the models off your STL files. There is a software that's called Mesh Mixer that allows for this to happen. And this is what I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through. This software can be downloaded um, from Mesh Mixer. If you look up Google, look up on Google Mesh Mixer or Autodesk Mesh Mixer, you should be able to find it. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on this one. When you actually get into your software, um, 3Shape, whatever, you can take those files, download them to your system, and then from there, what you just saw me do is drag and drop those files into Mesh Mixer. So that just pushes those files. It's kind of like importing uh, the files into the other software. Off to the right, you saw me just expand the browser just so that I can see the eyes and the, um, and the little magnet that's over there on the side. When we change those, I actually highlighted all of those, um, all of the, the uh, files in the series. And then I clicked on edit, which would it allow me I mean, not edit, but I clicked on transform, which allowed me to um, manipulate the the files to place them in the correct position. So what I was trying to do was just trying to get it to uh, um, face us from a facial view. And so we can better manipulate the, the models themselves. Once I get it to that stage, you'll see right here, I'll click accept. Okay, now what that does is that now it's in a position that's on a plane that actually helps me to um, design the models a little bit better. There's also one other thing that I normally do and that is that I go to view in the upper left hand corner and I will actually go to the show print bed and that way I'm at least on the actual plane um, and don't have to change it later. So that's a, a beneficial thing. Once we're to this stage, we click on the I and the name in the series in the object browser so we can choose which um, file we want to work with. At this point, we're actually working with the lower. What you see now is that I clicked the select tool and that select tool will actually allow you guys to um, highlight certain areas that I want to remove. I am just highlighting those areas. As you can see, it's kind of like a drag and drop with your mouse using your right, uh, your left mouse button on your mouse. Um, you're able to drag and highlight those kind of like paint. And then after you highlight those little areas and that's kind of like cleaning up the, the actual file, then you can hit delete. Once you hit delete, right at the edge of the mar at, at the edge of the the file, the actual model. If you notice, I double click on that, and then I go to the select tool. The select tool will allow me to um, let me show you real quick. Exactly. Um, so the select tool in, in editing will allow me to um, choose to clean up that margin just a little bit more. Um, and then I can actually transform it. Once we transform it, then we can actually do a plain cut on this entire file. 
the plain cut is just going to, and you can see where that print bed is right here. Um, it's going to allow us to cut an even model. And then in some instances, if it's if the model is actually doesn't have a lot of holes in it, it'll fill it in at this point without you actually have to go in into the analysis tool and using the inspector. Um, but um, if you have to use the inspector, the analysis and then the inspector tool, that's okay too. Um, at this point, we're gonna click accept. And if you notice, I clicked all of the files and I brought it onto the printer bed that actually helps you guys so that you don't have to worry about it being lopsided or anything like that that's the reason why i use a print bit it's just so i can make a clean um base um and also one that is um one not too big <laughs> if you notice i'm kind of adjusting those areas but also so that we can manipulate the software just a little bit more to um, give us just a, a nice parallel base um, on both the upper and the lower. Um, this is where I was talking about where we would hit the analyze button and then we would select these little points. The pink points will clean up any of the extra debris and fragments that are within the um, within the file. The blue one, if you look, there's one and two. The one on the bottom will actually fill in the base. The one that's sitting on top, if you notice where it's at, it just will clean up that one little area. So what you can do is actually um, hit auto repair or you can actually click that little uh, blue, but, uh, blue sphere and then that'll clean up the image and make a flat base. So this is what it's doing right now. And it takes a little while don't get me wrong, it takes a little while. And depending on how much stuff that you have on your computer, this is where cleaning up your files, keeping your um, programs on a separate drive as opposed to all of your, um, your design files. Those design files you guys need to keep for seven years, okay? I don't care what's going on if because we usually keep all of our files anyway um, for about that long because we are working with you know, the dental, the dentists that are in our area and, or not in our area, but we're working with our own dentists and we keep our files for about seven years. And that way we can actually pull those files if we need to later on. 